Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm glad you're here because I have some super, I don't know, informative stuff to talk to y'all about. Um, I'm going to link the video for my Manny on my left hand. That's the Valentine's Day Manny I did with Peppy Gel. And I really wanted to um, do this video for you guys. It was a subscriber request and it's going to be different um, top coat options for you guys. And I do have a pretty good mix of different top coats that I'm using on my right hand, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Now, I realize this is a top coat comparison video, but I also really wanted to include a quick version of my general application, just so you guys can see that I did stuff the exact same way as I always do on every single one of my fingers. So there's zero bias here whatsoever. I gave every top coat a fighting chance. I really did. And in the end, you'll see me put on the top coats on my different fingers. I logged everything. My video updates from wearing them for, you know, a little bit. And then I'll give you my final thoughts. So for right now, I'm gonna get into just my general application stuff. If you guys are excited for this video and you like it while you're watching, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And you should definitely subscribe because I like subscribers <laughs> and it would really help me out. So go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want to. I don't know what the deal is with the notification bell. I feel like I get notifications from YouTube just for being a subscriber. But if you feel so inclined to hit that notification bell, go right ahead and do so. So I'm going to let you guys watch me um, start my basic application. I'm using Peppy's Jungle Juice. I'll have all the info and... Um, a referral link down in the description box for Peppy Gel, so you can grab whatever products you see that I'm using that you might like for yourself and get a little discount and get me some referral points, which I would really appreciate because I use a lot of Peppy Gel. <laughs> yes, I'm an affiliate. Yes, they send me stuff, um, but I do buy a lot of stuff myself too just because I is who I is and I like to spend my own money apparently. <laughs> so help a sister out. Use my referral link. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch, and I will be right back. Real quick, wanted to hop in and just keep you guys updated as I normally do about what I have coming up for the next, you know, like week or so. Um, the next upload, which will be, I believe, on thumbnail Thursday. Yep, it is. Uh, you're gonna see my daughter, my 12 year old daughter, do her first ever dip mani. It's, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud, she did such a good job. You definitely don't wanna miss that. And then next week, I do have some other stuff coming up. Um, I'm gonna be doing an updated video on how to dip with gel base. Again, that's not something that is totally my forte, so uh, it's questionable at best. But I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> we'll give it a go and see how it goes. Um, I do have some other stuff coming up. I, I do, 
Uh, do you guys watch Christina Couture? I watch her all the time. I'm gonna link her channel over here somewhere, but she has recently been doing a lot of these like crazy nail hacks. And some of them are definitely questionable. And some of them I'm like, I wonder if that actually works. I mean, she says it works, maybe it works. So I may be trying some of her nail hacks. Um, some, I, I, th I think I wanna do the cornstarch nails. And then I also had this crazy idea, maybe a little bit more towards the spring into summertime. I wanna do beach sand nails. And of course, you know, I contemplated going to the beach and getting sand, but I'm paranoid about like sand fleas and other critters that are microscopic that I can't see that crawl around in the sand. So I'm probably just gonna go to Home Depot <laughs> and grab some sand and attempt to do some sort of beach sand nails. So um, let me know your thoughts on that. If those are some things that you want to see coming up. Let me know if you guys have any other requests, suggestions, or otherwise video ideas uh, that you're curious about or you want me to try or test out or general nail shenanigans you want to see Marla Cress get into because I'm happy to try anything within reason that has to do with nails. <laughs> so definitely go ahead and drop me a comment or you can um, DM me on Instagram. Uh, I, you know, YouTube comments, I typically will get notified you know, if you guys drop me a comment the day I upload, but anything after that, I feel like sometimes comments get slipped into my um, my junk mailbox and I don't see them all the time. And I, I promise I'm not ignoring anybody. I do try to comment on everyone, but Instagram is definitely the place where I'm gonna see my messages all the time. So um, if ever you need anything or you wanna chat or you wanna say hi, or you want to ask me questions or give me ideas or suggestions, Instagram is the place to be. So um, it's marlachris underscore dips. I'll leave it in the description box for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and clear cap my nails and I'm going to activate and then we're gonna get into some top coats. So stick around and I'll be right back. As you guys can see, as I get into my filing here, I did put a towel down 
Um, I found just through trial and error and doing different stuff and playing with different backgrounds that when I do my filing and my e-filing, I really like a towel underneath just because I feel like it catches and kind of traps dust as I'm filing and it just, A, it gets less in my face I know, I should be wearing a mask, blah, blah, lecture me later. Um, but also, I don't have to worry about like brushing off, you know, a, um, a flat surface. That's not a towel. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I don't have to brush off my nail desk and then there's more dust flying around everywhere and just easier with a towel. I can bunch it all up, throw it in my little laundry basket and just wash it. So that's why you saw me put a towel down, just, I don't know, little MO at Marla Chris's place. <laughs> um, did you guys see yet? I think you probably did. How did you guys feel about my little nail area? Did you like it? Was it terrible? <laughs> I, you know what? I, I was and still am a little insecure just because I see some other nail nooks and I'm like, dang, those are classy. <laughs> but I love my little nail area. Um, I am outgrowing my nail area, which is crazy. I don't know where I'm gonna go. There's nowhere else in my house to go. <laughs> I think I need a bigger, bigger house just so I can have a nail room. Um, but I have some other ideas, you know, I was thinking about like a she shed or I had this brilliant idea that I'm trying to talk my husband into doing for me, um, the idea of a pamper camper. <laughs> Like just a little camper that, you know, I can have air conditioning in and sit outside in my little camper and have that be my little nail room. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if it actually happens. I'm, I'm hopeful, but not incredibly optimistic. So we'll see. What do you guys do? Like, do, how do you have your nail areas set up? Um, do you have like a room? Do you have a corner like I do? Tell me what your whole setup is like. I'd love to know. Um, I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up my e-filing. I'll be back to chat about top coats in just a sec.
All right, guys, so here is what you guys have been waiting for. The whole theory on this video is what kind of top coats can you use over a dip powder? What works the best? What lasts the longest? I've got my IMLE, I've got my Model 1s, I picked up Sesh Vite, which is lacquer top coat. Um, I also grabbed my Kiara Sky glossy dip top coat, which I haven't used in forever. And I've got Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And I wanted to grab that one particularly because I feel like that one's the most available. Like you can pretty much, you know, find it anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is my calendar. This is where I keep track of all the videos I have, you know, uploading or uploaded and, you know, what I plan on doing for the next few weeks. So I'm gonna use this and just jot down so I remember <laughs> because I'm old and I don't remember anything anymore. I'm lucky I remember my name most days, much less the kids' names, forget it, they need name tags. But, so I'm gonna keep track of, you know, all of the different top coats I have on my fingers, just for reference, so I don't forget. And uh, yeah, so I think on my, what am I, I can't even see what I'm writing down right now. On my thumb, I have the Model Model 1's gel top coat. On my index finger, I'm doing the Kiara Sky uh, dip top coat. My middle finger has got the Sesh Feet lacquer top coat. Emily is going on my ring finger. And then I'm going to use the Sally Hansen Insta Dry on the pinky. So that is my roadmap. That's where we're going to go with this. So I'm going to go ahead and get those applied. I am going to buff over the nails that I'm putting the regular polished lacquer top coats on and the dip top coat. I'm not going to buff my nails with the gel top coats just because that's, you know, standard MO. And I, again, I wanted to give all the top coats the best chance possible. I'm not doing a peel off base coat, like nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff over one, two, three nails, my um, index, middle, and pinky. The ring and the thumb are the ones that have the gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff. I'm going to get these all applied. You're gonna watch the entire thing. And I'm gonna give you guys some video updates coming up here in this video. And then at the end of the video, like don't go anywhere because at the very, very end, I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I want to give you the results of this whole experiment. I don't know what it is yet. As I'm doing this voiceover for this portion of the video, I'm only three, three days in. So I don't have final thoughts yet. I will have final thoughts at the end of the video. So don't go anywhere. Stick around. I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. So as you guys are watching this, I am doing activator on my um, index. This is the nail that I'm gonna use the dip top coat on. So you have to activate before you put on top coat. So that's what I'm doing there with the activator. Now, why did I choose these particular top coats? It's a great question and you're very smart. Um, I chose these top coats because I realized that there are so many different types of people that like to do their own nails. Some have gel allergies, some don't react well to, you know, the dip liquids. Um, so what's an alternative? And I figured, let me, let me just try and see what happens. I have done this in the past, um, not an experiment like this per se, but I've put lots of different top coats over my nails and they all pretty much worked. I'm a mess. See, it wouldn't be a Marla Chris vid if I didn't knock something over <laughs> at least one time. I had no casualties though. We're all good. So I have tried, you know, regular top coat and gel top coat, obviously, all the time. Dip cut top coat, you know, and while I'm not the hugest fan of dip top coat, just because, you know, it's kind of temperamental, and I find that of the dip liquids, maybe it's just me, tell me if you guys feel the same way. I feel like the top coat, like if, if one of these liquids is going to bother your nose or your eyes, it's the top coat. I don't know why. It's the same thing, essentially, as the base, but the top coat always bugs me. So... Anyway, trying out a bunch of different stuff just to see. Um, the Sally Hansen, you know, I think I mentioned it earlier, 
it's just so available pretty much everywhere. You know, every drugstore I go into, CVS, Walgreens, whatever, whatever, you can always find the Sally Hansen top coats. Um, the Sesh Vite, I got that on Amazon and everything will be in my, you know, description box over here. Um, I just, I heard mixed reviews on it. Some people swear by it, some people hate it. So I'm like, I've never tried it. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. So kind of just my motive for wanting to do this video. And you know, I wanted to see for myself too, what some of the options are because A, if I can save some money, <laughs> I'm all about it. And if I can save y'all some money, then, you know, it's a win-win for everybody, right? So I'm going ahead and I'm doing my dip top coat and you do have to do two coats of the dip top coat. So I'm just gonna hang out, let it set for, you know, a few seconds and I'll go back over and do my second coat. And uh, I'm gonna let you guys watch me finish doing my top coats here for just a sec. I will be back with some updates. So don't go anywhere. Even if it looks like my video is over, it's not. <laughs> I fake you out with my finger wiggle, but um, I will give you updates. Um, a couple here and there throughout the two weeks that I wore them and then I'll give you my final thoughts So stick around and I'll be right back All right, guys, so here are the updates. Here's day two, all good. Then on day four, slight scuffing on the dip and the polished nails, nothing crazy. Um, day eight, everything still looks good. I, I took a lot of photos and I had this on for 12 days. And here's the Manny after 12 days. And um, as you can see, they all still look pretty good. The gel definitely held shine longer than the others, but if you wanna use regular glossy polished top coat, I say go for it because I had no chipping or feeling or anything. So I hope you all found this helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next vid. Love you, bye.